if the universe began with the Big Bang, and scientists are now almost entirely sure that it did, then this means that the universe began to exist about 13.7 billion, or thousand million, years ago. It also means that when the universe did first burst into existence, it was an infinitesimally small dot. But that dot contained all the energy that would go on to make everything. With the beginning of the universe came the beginning of time. And once you have time, you can have change. And wow, did the universe change. In the first millionth of a second, it grew from the size of almost nothing to the size of our solar system. In a millionth of a second. As it expanded, it cooled to 10,000 million degrees. Sounds hot? Just imagine how hot it was at the beginning. Particles of matter started to form from the energy at this time. Later, those particles would cluster together to make atoms. But at first, the particles were speeding around far too fast. My name is Joyce and I'm interested in things like matter and antimatter. I find it interesting the way how matter and antimatter were made when the universe began and how most of it was annihilated and it's hard to make it or find it now. It kind of makes it weird how we live in a universe made of matter but somewhere out there there could be a universe made of antimatter and just the complete opposite to us. And there could be, for all we know, if aliens do exist, they could be made out of antimatter. And so that's just an interesting thing to think about. At last, 300,000 years later, things are starting to look a bit more ordinary. The universe is much bigger. The temperature is now 3,000 degrees, which might sound very hot, but at this point, it's cool enough for atoms to form. Electrons are now bound into those atoms. That means that light can now travel through space and the universe is transparent. Meanwhile, those atoms are starting to gather together to form a star, but not our star. Our star, the Sun, comes later. According to this theory, it arrives 10,000 million years after the Big Bang, so about two-thirds of the way through the universe's timeline from zero to now. It all sounds amazing, but is it true? I'm often asked as a scientist, do I believe in the Big Bang? As though it's something that you know, either you, you believe in or you don't. Uh, on the other hand, uh, people say, oh, it's, but the Big Bang definitely happened. We have proof that it happened and that's it. The fact is, it's taken a long time for scientists to accumulate evidence to suggest that the theory of the Big Bang is probably, in all likelihood, right. So we don't know for sure. Science is never about knowing something for certain. So I don't know for sure the Big Bang happened. Someone else, another Einstein, may come up tomorrow and say, no, actually, here's another way of explaining everything about the universe and the Big Bang didn't happen. And if he came up with better evidence to back up his theory, then I would stop believing that the Big Bang theory was right. But for the moment, chances are I think it's right. It's a difficult task to estimate the age of the universe. People have wondered about this throughout human history. But one way is to look, in fact, at the entire expansion history of the universe. We have found out, for example, uh, that the universe is not stagnant, that galaxies appear to be moving apart from each other. And that rate of expansion tells us something about how old the universe could be if we rewind the tape and brought everything back together again. In fact, just recently we found out that for part of the universe's history, the universe has been accelerating in that expansion. So factoring all that in, if we rewind the tape, it looks like the universe must have started about 13.7 billion years ago. Another way of looking at the age of the universe is by looking at the remnant radiation left over from that initial burst of energy that's sometimes referred to as the Big Bang. It's been predicted by physicists that if that really happened, there should be some leftover radiation, greatly cooled since that beginning burst of energy, but everywhere you look in space. And in fact, we have detected this cosmic microwave background radiation in every direction in space. 
that radiation and the cooling that it's undergone tells us again that the universe is about 13.7 billion years old. And finally, we can look at stars themselves and see how they have evolved over time. They give us an age estimate as to how long stars have been here because their chemistry is not stagnant. The hydrogen and helium and other elements in stars change over time and that tells us something about how old stars are when we look at their chemistry. All this together gives us an estimate of the age of the universe of about 13.7 billion years and of our own solar system of a few, about maybe four to five billion years. This is exciting but hard work and I like science because it's a continuing investigation.